This is the classic first fight scene in Kill Bill Volume 1. Now, look at this scene again, but without sound. Foley sounds tend to go unnoticed, but you realize just how important they are when they're gone. Sean Brennan, a Foley artist for movies, TV, and video games, showed us what kinds of sounds can really make a fight scene pop. Foley sounds are created practically and based on a character's movements and interactions with the world. Naturally, they're a big part of fight scenes. Brennan has done Foley sounds for a variety of fight scenes. We met with him at Parabolic in New York. It depends on what's going on in the scene. If it's a real quiet moment, I try to make it sound as natural as possible. But if you're in a fight and there's a lot of noise going on, I will go over the top. Foley isn't used for every single sound in a fight scene. Certain sounds need to be created digitally, but there are a few crucial elements to every fight scene where the Foley artist's work is necessary. With the hand-to-hand -hand stuff, sometimes I'll go home covered in bruises. For the most part, the sounds of hand-to-hand -hand combat are made exactly as you'd expect. So when doing punch sounds, I'll always do like a real natural sounding punch. Got that, or punch in the arm. Well, sometimes then after that, I'll beef it up. A pair of gloves can add some extra thud to a punch. These sounds can work on their own or be layered together, meaning just one single punch can contain three separate sounds, and in some cases, even more than that. We'll get to layering a bit later. Even a sound as simple as a punch can involve some thinking outside the box. In this case, we have a flank steak. A piece of steak like this is just, it's very similar to a, like a human cheek, you know? This helps create a fleshier punch effect, perfect for a face punch. Plus, it doesn't just sound like a character is simply punching their own hand. And of course, you can't have a fight without a few solid kicks. And who knows, maybe you'll even have to kick a door down. Just don't go into a fight empty-handed. Some of these sounds, like bullets flying through the air, which involve no human interaction, will be created separately by a sound editor. But somebody still has to handle a gun. Brennan often uses a door lock and puts it against a rifle. When it comes to weapons, Using the real thing is typically the best option. Well, here's some good looking swords. But the problem is they're decorative, so there's a lot of plastic on here and they don't sound great. But any hits sounds cheap. So having something heavier, some metal stuff, sounds much better. You get these kind of sounds. Usually, one Foley artist will make sound for both sides of a given fight. Using the real weapons creates the most realistic sounds. To get that iconic sound of swords whooshing in the air, Foley artists will typically use wooden dowels. <laughs> Not very realistic at all, but it sounds great in the film. It's still a human element, just, you've heard that before, say if a baseball flies by you or something. The dowels also work well for kicking and flying through the air, but some of the most complex, eye-popping sounds don't have anything to do with weapons, but rather the injuries. When creating the Foley sounds for injuries, things can get a little messy. Food especially comes in handy here. And celery's good, really good for bone cracks. So you break an arm. <laughs> Give it a nice little <coughs> gives it more impact. <coughs> 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 
And if you want to get a good stomp in there, then you'll have to step on a few apples. Meanwhile, other foods, like raw chicken and melon, can also give you good, fleshy sounds. Smashing a watermelon can give you an exploding head. And while not edible, a wet leather towel sounds just as gruesome. A lot of these sounds could end up being drowned out in the final cut, yet some of the most important sounds Brennan must capture for a fight are the ones you would least expect, like the rustling of clothes. And so when the actor goes to punch, I just follow the arm. This is yet another sound the audience is familiar with, and therefore one that can help bring them into the scene. These raw sounds are likely not the only thing you'll hear in the final product. There's an extensive process that follows in which sounds are edited and layered together. Combining all the different layers of the punch sound we heard earlier really brings it to life. So here's just the regular punch. And then here's with the glove. You know, right now they're not really mixed together, but already you can start to feel it being heavier as far as the impact. It can get pretty gross. <laughs> so sure, your fight scene can have the coolest moves and feature the fiercest warriors, but it will be nothing without the right sound. See ya, sucker. <laughs>